This is the Nikon J1. The Nikon J1 is a mirrorless camera that represents a new revolution in photography, and it's really exciting. You shoot right on the sensor, which means there's no mirror. It's like a DSLR and gives you the control of a DSLR, but yet it's the size of a point and shoot. You can shoot fully manual, you can change lenses, and you can throw an adapter on that allows you to use your regular Nikon glass for added flexibility. Now you can see it with the continuous shutter action. As I press the shutter down, it just keeps taking photos. So this camera spans the spectrums. Professional photographers can use it in a very serious manner. In fact, we're shooting this segment with a Nikon J1. The Nikon J1 does video as well as photos, and it's 10.1 megapixels, and it'll do that video at 1080p, full HD at 30 frames a second. I use the Nikon J1 to shoot some really cool stuff. I use the J1 to shoot Joan Rivers performing and some photos of New York City. I didn't use the flash and you can see it does well in low light. I shot some great photos and videos on the J1 while on a recent video journalism assignment in Seattle and I absolutely love it. I think it's a great camera. You can choose from an array of lenses like this one, the 30 to 110, and you have a lot of color choices which make it a lot of fun. The camera has some really great features that include time-lapse photography and slow motion video. You can shoot raw, fine JPEG, normal JPEG, and lower quality JPEG. It's not heavy, the battery lasts a long time, and it takes phenomenal pictures. Pictures worthy of printing out and hanging on your wall. It's got a tremendous flash that works well, and it's easy to use. Now the J1 doesn't have a small viewfinder. I didn't miss that, but I do wish they added a hot shoe adapter and an external mic input. You can throw the camera in automatic. It has two automatic settings that are really, really great. There's one that's called Smart, and that takes three pictures at a time, and then the camera decides which picture is the best. And there's another setting that's just full automatic, like your traditional point and shoot. I recommend this camera to anybody who's a hobbyist, an enthusiast, and even a professional. It seems like a must-have in almost every bag.